Welcome back to Tatparya Books. So you might have heard Salman Rushdie has got a new book out. This is the first one since the horrible attack on him last August. The incident drew widespread condemnation and sympathy for the writer from all over the literary world. And this book coming so soon after the incident has generated a lot of attention. Attention that most of the press is spending talking about the incident back in August and not so much about the book itself. I've even read some articles where they talk they say that this book will only be identified with the incident. But is that fair? Because this book was almost certainly written before the incident and should be considered on its own merits. So let's do that. When I heard that Salman Rushdie had written a book about the Vijayanagar Empire, I was excited. You see, the story of Vijayanagar Empire it forms a background to the history and culture of this specific part of South India that I come from, the Deccan. And yet, when you look at the number of books that are written about India, very few actually talk about the Deccan. Don't get me wrong, this is changing now and there are some great books that are being written. But the rich story heritage of this particular area seems to be untapped. So when someone like Salman Rushdie wants to tackle this area, you should be excited. Salman Rushdie is a writer who writes in a genre which is called magic realism. So what is magic realism? Magic realism is a mostly realistic genre with elements of magic thrown in. It's not fantasy. It's not Lord of the Rings. It's not Harry Potter, but something different. This genre of writing developed in, the, in South America and was most popularized by writers such as Gabriel Garcia Marquez and Isabel Allende. Rusty himself is a giant in this form of writing. His, his famous book, Midnight's Children, was written in a magic realist way. So, magic realist stories are usually about a place or a person whose life seems almost extraordinary. So in that way, Victory City is a perfect tale for magic realism. It's about the place, Vijayanagar Empire or Bisnaga as it is mentioned in the book and of an extraordinary person who narrates the tale, Pampa Kampana. The story of Victory City is a little complicated to say because it's a 250 year story of the Vijayanagar Empire. But it's told through the, through the eyes of Pampa Kampana, who records this in her manuscript called the Jaya Parajaya. In this, she tells us that she was the queen for two kings and she lived through the 250 year life of Vijayanagara or Bisnaga to see its destruction. She's like the Forrest Gump of Bisnaga. She's there in all the right places at the right time, allowing us to see the extraordinary tale of this wonderful place. Salman Rushdie has tackled some complicated stories prior to writing Victory City. His previous books include The Arabian Nights and Don Quixote, or retelling of The Arabian Nights and Don Quixote. So he kind of knows what he's doing here. And he's also done his homework. Every important historical reference or literary reference or traveler's tale is interwoven into the story of Pampa Kampana. And Pampa Kampana's tale itself is an interesting tale for you to hear. Her voice is authoritative and somehow modern without jarring in what is essentially a historical story. Although I mostly enjoyed this story, there were also parts of it that I found some jarring. The problems might not be as much in the story itself, but in the genre in which it's told. You see, magic realism has magic creeping into what is mostly realistic tale. But if the magic does not have an emotional resonance, it kind of can snap you out of the storytelling. And that happened to me a few times in the telling of this story. Also, magic realism seems to be a genre that covers a huge area of history very, very quickly. There are times in this story that I felt that the story could slow down and let us see the day-to-day -day life of Pampa Kampana or the day-to-day -day life of Bisnaga. In the end, I have a two-part recommendation for this book. For those of you who already know about the Vijayanagar Empire and have read other detailed stories and histories of this place, pick up this book if you just want to hear the voice of Pampa Kampana because the tale of the empire itself might come across as being a little shallow. For those of you who don't know anything about this place, this is a wonderful starting point. Like I said, Rushdie includes all the literary and traveler's references for you to then follow upon. And I recommend you do so, because this is a wonderful story to hear. 
Thank you for watching Tatparya Books. And if you like this video, please like, click the like button below this video. And if you want to hear more such stories and book reviews, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, this is Tatparya Books signing off.